Hey, I'm going to speak to Jenna Tidwell about her run on Saturday at the Central District's Middle Distance Champs. The map was Fox Tangy, and this might be a new map. I'm not entirely sure, but I certainly hadn't seen it before, and it looks pretty interesting. So we're going to take a look at the GPS tracking that was also logged on some of the uh, elite fields over the weekend. Yeah, let's see what she has to say. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, Jenna. Yep, I can hear you. Can you see the map? Yeah. I can. Cool. Kind of a little quite small. Yep. I'll zoom in. So, was this a map you've been on before? I think it might be new, actually. I've never seen it before. No, I don't think so. It was awesome, man. It was very, very yeah? cool. Cool. Nice. What's the undergrowth like? There's a lot of um, green, green striped area. Yeah, not not great. It was, yeah, it was definitely worth sticking to the sandy areas if possible. Even the um, just like the the yeah, just everything was pretty trash. Sweet. Apart okay. from the sand. Yeah, this white looks looks quite nice. Okay, I was hoping you could take me through the course and we'll look at the kind of simplifications you were making to make your navigation easier and safer. So what were your thoughts on number one? Um, so I was just sort of took a an easy-ish bearing and then ran straight towards the hill. So I used the real big hill as my attack point and just knew it was right at the bottom of that. Right, so you should be able to see this from over here somewhere, and you're just heading towards towards the big hill. Yeah, basically, that's it. Nice. On to number two. Um, so well? yeah, taking taking the track. Um, see if your GPS and is then, Yep. I actually went along. Um, the top of the hill before dropping down. So you can see Jenna as the uh, those light blue one. Okay, so you're running on on the ridge line there. Yep. Yeah. And you saw the big valley, I guess. It was probably, yeah, yeah, and just ran straight down the valley. Yep. Easy. What's the way to simplify number three? Um. For that one, I just ran straight along the um, the sandy area next to the next to the hill, and then um, you could see down into that um, re-entrant, that really wide re-entrant, and just ran straight down into that knoll. So yeah, I was running along the sandy area, mm -hmm. and then looked down into the re-entrant to see the knoll, and ran straight to that. Cool. Yeah, that's quite nice that it's running in the same line as the leg. Pulls you along mm. quite easily. I'll zoom out a bit. What did you do for number four? Um, so I was sort of aiming for that like owl sort of track, like halfway along as a sort of stepping stone. Yep. Um, pull me through and then um i went along i think the beach and just looked right for the first sort of um that little re-entrant up into the the sandy dunes again right so right yeah just back beach and then in. yeah that's quite nice once you're running along the beach you should be able to tell the difference between the the flat edge and then the little indies yeah. So you can just scoot along the edge as a handrail and then use the indent as the trigger to run in. Nice. Yeah. This looks less obvious. There's only smaller features. What did you use to make five easier for yourself? Um, well, that one, yeah, I just sort of ignored all that, like the green and the, well, to a point but like all the um, little contour stuff. Cause I could see after all that little contour stuff that was, there was a little flat area with a mm. hill next to it. So obviously I couldn't see the, the depression um, running into it cause it was quite high undergrowth, but I could see yep. the hill just past it. So yeah, I just ran through the flat area and mm. then saw the hill and then dropped in just before that. Yeah. That's interesting. So all of this is just 
some detailed stuff that you're kind of ignoring and you're noticing that yeah, there's exactly. this really nice flat area and the hill is just to the north of, of the flat area. Yeah. Nice. Six. Um, for that one, I actually can't remember what I did for that one. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it looks like you tried to go straight, found the vegetation, didn't like it, then found the track. Looks smart. Yeah. It was, it was quite tricky actually finding the track, even like, um, yeah, because the undergrowth you just couldn't really see through, so mm. it was sort of a bit of a trashy leg just running, running towards that. Okay. But seven. yeah, I didn't, really, I didn't really have much time for it for that one. Um, for seven, the same sort of thing. It was really hard um, finding that track, so I ended up just this just committing here. to the leg. Yeah, ignoring all that um, all the contour stuff. Just keeping sort of my height, like not really navigating, but keeping a, a a bit of a line, and just knowing that I'll hit the track. So I just committed to the track, and then um, just look for the track bending in. Yeah, so that's really safe. You can just run on a compass, pretty approximate. Focus on finding the nice lines in the terrain. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. On to some shorter ones. How did you make these easy for yourself? Um, so I guess I sort of used the edge of the white as a bit of a stepping stone just to like, we'll get to that. And then um, in the white, I could see there was that little um, hill, that spur sort of hill thing. And then just on the other side of that. So yeah, I was looking for the edge of the white, the little spur hill thing, and then just dropped over. So, so th this edge or that edge? I saw the yeah the corner edge, but I, I knew I'd come in a little bit after. Cool. After that, and then there's there's this kind of major, the, the most major hill there. You would have popped over yeah. that. Is that what you were referring to as the long hill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Safely done. Yeah, and again, once you know, it's just in the middle of the white forest. You almost can yeah. just kind of come in from this direction and stay in the middle of the forest and get both those controls without really. Yeah, exactly. Out. Yeah, the next one was just looking for the next hill, which is not hard at all. Yeah, running on the track. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, 10, pretty simple on the track until the corner. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's pretty... Okay, we'll zoom out to. 11. So at first, there's um, some concern that it's a long leg, but I think there's some ways to make this quite easy. How did you approach it? Yeah, so I saw um, that track in the middle of it, and I thought that would be quite a good sort of stepping stone to get through. Um, so I came around the side of that hill along that sand because I knew that was going to be nice, easy running, and it was on the sand because everything else was a lot of undergrowth. Oh, yeah. So the sand um, is actually, yeah, good to run. Okay, cool. Really nice. Yeah. Um, and then saw that little second really small track going up the hill. Oh, this little thing? Oh, yeah. 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 So that was another sort of stepping stone. So, so yeah, yep. that little track and then hopped onto that next long track, mm -hmm. that sort of pulled ground. Um, saw the next, I guess, sort of another stepping stone of that little hill um, at the end of the track. You see, we'll just clear up, clear up the lines. Uh, so there was this track here, and then there's this ridge to go along, to go over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, yeah, and then where, where was the little hill? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, then at the end of the track. After the second little tiny bit. Yeah. So then there's another ridge line to pop up yeah. and over. Yeah. Bring yeah. that well. And then just following that long spur and to the control, basically. So that this this um, hill by the by the sea, um, you can 
yeah, it is really just a shape like that. You could simplify it like that and you've just got yeah. to kind of stay, stay on top really, stay in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Cool. And a shorter one again, how did you decide to approach this? Um, well, I guess like pop that to the beach and rail mm -hmm. like a way like along the beach. I sort of to make it simple, I just sort of ran along and looked for the first sort of little re entrance encountered of the first little ones. And then so he had the, these two there. Yep. Get them. Yeah. And then and you've then got just that one there. Nicely done. 13 looks, then, looks pretty good. Yeah, just followed that spur straight down and saw the nose at the end of it. Right, so this guy here really sticks out, the spur here. It's like a big arrow pointing yeah. towards your control, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> and what about this this detail in there? Like, there's a few things going on, and that could be harder to visualize. Did you have all this detail visualized in your head or were you just referencing off of the spur um basically just of the spur because yeah it's not much point trying to read too much detail <clears throat> so there might come a point where there's like where the area of detail is bigger and the controls in the middle of that um mm -hmm. that you probably have to read some detail but you reckon this is, yeah. this is simple enough that you can yeah kind of kind of ignore that and just Kind of look back, look back at this guy. That's the mm -hmm. nice. All right, final few. Um, looks like I'll, the others also like the track on this one. It's fairly in line. Yeah. With the leg. Yeah, that was good. Handrail straight into the and you know just seeing that um that light green was trees. And just seeing the yep. start of the trees and then just being straight in really from the, um, the start of the trees. Uh, were they trees with lower branches? Yeah. 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 So how did you know where to leave the track and what are you looking for once you left the track? Um, so I knew I could see that first tiny little knoll. So yeah, it was basically like, oh, it was sort of just, start of the trees and then run a little bit extra and then cut in and then um sort of like follow that little wrenching up until getting a yeah, it was yeah just cutting in a little bit earlier knowing that i'd follow the wrench up until hitting it yeah i Instead think that's that, that's key it's actually the terrain really helps guide you in the right direction you've got this low shape here okay. that you'll fall into and you just have to follow that along so let's see if the GPS is following along as well. Oh yeah, pretty nice. What about 15? What do you like the most about 15? Oh, that was probably my worst control. <laughs> it was just like, um, the stripe green was actually really terrible. Like it was, it should have been and, okay. Um, very, very close stripe green. <laughs> so you kind of hit that like I a ran... wall and was trying to find a way around. Yeah, basically. So yeah, I got um, I ran along the track. It was it was easy, and then yeah. um, knew I had to go around the dark green and chose yeah, right so we're, around we're, the dark we're not green. we're not going in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and then I saw that it was like easy stripes. So I was like, oh, surely I'll jump up that track a wee bit up that hill and then cut him down. But mm -hmm. that was basically impossible. That, yeah, it was, it was mm -hmm. pretty trashy there. So I, I, I came back and then it was actually a nice sort of route along the edge of the green, I think. Okay. So that's, yeah, a bit of improvisation. Um, you haven't totally lost yeah. the plot. Wasn't it looks plan. like you dealt, yeah, not in the plan, but I think you probably dealt with it pretty well. Cool. And what are you looking for mm -hmm. contours wise yeah, to simplify this one? Two fifteen. Yep. Um 
basically it was it was sort of just because I knew I was quite high already. It was just sort of um, when I got to the, I guess the top of the hill, and then like if I started going down, then I knew I'd gone too far. So yeah, when I got to the top of the hill, then I just knew. Cool. So this this um, this is the big hill the you're referring to here, really. That guy. Yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah, and you can probably see it yeah. from over here somewhere. And 16. Um, for that one, it was just basically, yeah, along the edge of that white, I guess, white and green. Mm -hmm. Sort of, um, yeah, following the, the re-engine up. So, yeah, once again, those lines in the terrain. <laughs> Uh, are helping you out and you're already fo following them yeah. quite nicely because yeah you've got this yeah this line here following the middle of the reentrant up and you've got yeah. the edge of the green and the edge of the white so yeah that's really all you need i think you can find the control pretty much without those just knowing the control is slightly inside the white what do you reckon exactly yeah yeah, yeah. cool and then is that taped to the finish from there um, it wasn't actually. It wasn't. Uh, it looks but, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Just out to the track. Cool. Well, that looks that looks pretty cool, and I'm looking forward to getting onto this area at some stage. Yeah, I, it was. It was I have not stunning. Been there. Cool. Mm. Sweet. Thanks, Jenna, for for sharing some time, and I hope people will find it interesting how. You've, you've dealt with what could be a really hectic area if you were um, making things really hard for yourself and uh, yeah. I hope they can yeah, get some tips on how to make things easier uh, even for the hardest courses. Cool. Thanks, Jenna. All right. Thank you. Yeah, so it was good to see that uh, Jenna was simplifying quite well and not getting overwhelmed by all of the detail on the map. And in some cases that was uh, done by picking out the thing that was unique so for example when there's a lot of contour detail or maybe it's vague and the contour detail is not so helpful then you can pick up the edge of the sandy area and there were a few legs there where she may have used only just one or two main handrails to get herself to the control and if you can do that simplification firstly it makes your navigation really reliable because you're using big distinctive obvious visible easy to follow features in the forest and it also makes you feel confident and so you move faster which means running faster but also slowing down to check your map less so both those two things are really important to your finishing time and Jenna's done that really well and had a pretty good performance out of it thanks for listening and we'll see you next time